today's card features our gorgeous Eastern Palace bundle that is available through Stampin' Up! Um, until the end of May, May 31st, 2017. You can buy all of the wonderful products that belong in this bundle, and after that, um, they're only sold individually. So, in the bundle, I'm sure you've probably seen it all over the internet because everybody's raving and and justifiably so, because the stamp set's amazing, the framelits are amazing, um, the designer series paper that comes in this bundle is amazing, there's gorgeous um, stickers, gold stickers, the cardstock, the uh, in color um, ink pads, it's like, it's amazing, it's wonderful, you have to grab this. Anyways, I am going to show you the card that I've made today using this bundle, using a little bit of the black magic technique. So let's get started. Alrighty, so the card base is a piece of basic black and it measures eight and a half by five and a half, which you're going to fold in half and that makes your card base. Then I have a piece of our new, oh, I can't remember the name. Just a second. What is this called? Powder Pink. Yes, our new Powder Pink. One of the new in colors. It's lovely. And I've been waiting for a nice pink um, that was a little bit darker than the one we had. So I'm really, really happy with this. It's beautiful. And then I have a piece of Whisper White that measures five and three quarters and a piece of Basic Black that measures four three quarters by three and a half. And all these measurements will be on my blog for today as well. So, the first thing I'm going to do is adhere this onto my card base. So I will just grab my snail and put that right down there. Alright, so that can be set aside. I'll put all those aside. Now, this piece is going to be embossed. So, I'm just going to flip that over. And I am going to take the Eastern Beauty stamp set. Um, it's a little bit stained from the ink pads, which is fine. That doesn't affect the quality. And I have been playing with this stamp set a lot. Bear with me, I'm trying to find a block. Eh, I think that's a little bit too small. There. And I find when using photopolymer, um, stamps, you get a much better image when you're stamping on our piercing pad. So because we're embossing, we're going to take the embossing buddy and wipe that whole piece of basic black, just like that. Then we're going to take our first mark, ink it up, and I'm stamping off the page a little bit. Or off the paper, I should say. Just stamping randomly. All right. Then pretend I clean that. I'll come back and clean it when I'm done the video. Now we're taking this image. So the framelits that coordinate with this stamp set are mind-boggling. Um, last count is you can create over 80 different varieties of the framelits. I'll just quickly show you because I have a whole bunch that I've tucked into my bag here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know if you can see. Hard to see on the black, but... And then there's just, there's just so much you can do with this. It's just mind-boggling. So I've been playing, and then I keep them all in a bag. So I've got something handy dandy. Oh, and that's one of our new colors, Tranquil Tide and Fresh Fake. I love our new in, in colors. Okay, so went on a tangent there, but I just have to tell you that you really do need to get the framelits with the stamp set. So this is kind of hard to see, but I'm trying to line this up into the circles, which that one did not totally, and I'm not going to stress about that. That one was pretty close. 
that one was pretty much bang on and there we go okay now I want to grab this star I'm gonna come back to that sentiment there in a second where's my star there's my star Oops. and that's just gonna get stamped randomly in between those images Okay, and now I'm grabbing my Life is Beautiful stamp, and that's going to go right around the circles. And I'm going to put one here, and I know some of that's overlapping, but some of it's going to get covered up at the end, which you'll see anyhow. So it's just creating a background. So now my gold embossing powder. Sprinkle it all over. Okie dokie. Tap off the excess. So if there's any gold powder where you don't want it, just grab a paintbrush and just wipe that excess powder away blowing off as you go there I think that's good okay now it's time to heat set No matter how many years you've been stamping, if you're like me, heat embossing never grows old. It is still such a wow. Love it. Okay, so now it's time to color, and I'm going to grab my watercolor pencils. I'll just keep them in a little clay pot. And I'm grabbing the yellow, the pink, the green, the blue, and the white. So now I'm just going to color. So I'm just going to fill it right in with my pencil. And ordinarily, when you're using our watercolor pencils, you would maybe use the blending pen or the aqua painter just to blend them. But for this, on the black, I don't find that that works so well. It's nicer just to use them just as they are, just as a regular pencil crayon. Um, I find when you use the blender pen on the black, it kind of uh, really tones down the color a lot. This way, the color stays much more vibrant. So there's the white. And I'm pushing pretty hard. Um, it looks nice if you do it light, and it looks really nice too if you do it darker. Obviously, you'll get a much more vibrant card darker that you um, color and this comes together pretty quickly an easy image to color there's the pink pretty 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 and then the blue I love this black magic technique. Well, it's similar to black magic. Ordinarily, when you're doing the black magic technique, you're using, um, or the way I've done it, I've used a white craft pad, and then I've colored on top of that white ink. But our pencils, our watercolor pencils, go on this black beautifully, so I don't need to do that. So I'm going to do some more blue down here. And a little bit of pink. Okay. So again, some of this is going to be covered. As you can see here on this card, I've got this strip. I'm going to do it that way. 
So I know I don't really need to color anymore on this. And in fact, what might not be a bad idea is actually trimming that little piece off and then you could use that for a different card. Which I do believe I'm going to do because it's so darn pretty. So I'm going to keep coloring. So I'm going to fill in these bits with yellow. And then I have a green, which will go here. Oops, missed a bit of yellow right in here. I'm going to do some white in here. See, I missed a few spots with the blue, so I'm just going to fill that in. So there's my coloring done. Isn't that pretty? So nice. And I know that would be better center, but really, seriously, in the grand scheme of things, I am not going to worry about it. And um, I'm actually going to grab some orange and fill in this bit up here. Okay, here we go, all colored in. That makes a beautiful background. Okay, I just trimmed off one inch from this, and I'm gonna save this for another card. So now, I'm gonna take these pieces and adhere them to my Whisper White. leaving a little bit of a border. Now, before I put this on, I want to grab that same star that we embossed in gold, this one right here, and I want to use my Fursa mark on this to, whoops, to create a watermark. So I'm just stamping straight down. And as that dries, um, you'll have a pretty watermark. You'll see it a bit more. You can kind of see it on the camera. All right. Let's stick that on the card. There we go. It's so pretty. I really like it. All right. I am going to take some of our pretty new finely woven ribbon. This is that powder pink. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on each end and then just wrap it around, fold it down. Fold it down, trim off the excess. Oops, dizzy. more adhesive on there. Oops, it's a little bit crooked. There we go. Okay, and then that's going to go on right like that. It still looks crooked. Hang on. This is not straight. There. I think that looks better. Yes. Okay, now we'll put it on. Okay, there we go. All right, what's next? Next is creating this piece right here. All right, so let's set that aside. Okay, now it's time to do some big shotting. So I have my multi-purpose platform and I have my precision plate right on top. It's gonna get set down there. Then I have let me see, I've got some Whisper White I already used. So here's some Whisper White. We'll turn it this way. Some scrap. So this is from our Eastern Medallion Thinlets dies. Gorgeous. And I am just going to put that right there on the Whisper White. This is from our Layering Circles dies. 
I'm going to put that right on top. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my plate, and that's going to go right on top. I'm going to crank it through. And that budged a bit, so I'm going to slide it down. And roll it right through. I love these medallion thinlets, and not only do they look amazing like within the set, like all the different things, but they work so well with our circle dies and so many other dies that we have. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, it's it's just it's almost too much. It's too exciting. Oh, you could tell it's morning and I'm a morning person and I've had my coffee, yes. So, anyways, let's just well that came out. So anyhow, let's just rub a dub these little bits and pieces out. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. You could honestly spend, I think, days, days playing with these medallion thinlets with our other um, dyes and everything else. Like, it's just, it's over the top. Okay, so now I want to come back to the big shot in a second. Put that on my chair. Need to stamp the sentiment. So, using this same piece of scrap paper, I'm going to grab, I'm going to use thank you this time. I love the script on the sentiments. Okay, put that on my block. Grab my memento. Mix it up really well. Stamp it down. Now I'm going to use my circle dies again. I'm using the smallest um, circle. And I'm going to put that right on top like that. And I'm going to run that through the Bake Shop. Be right back. Okay, there's my circle. And again, I use the smallest from the layering circle dies. And now I'm going to take my one and one quarter circle punch and punch out a piece of black. Holy mackerel, I've got a lot of things going on here. All right, let's make some space, make some space. Now I need my dimensionals. All right, so I'm going to stick a dimensional behind my thank you. And layer that onto my piece of basic black one and one quarter inch circle. Then I'm going to take another dimensional. And that fits in here beautifully, right in the center. Love it. Okay, pull the card in, decide where I'm going to put this. I think I'm actually going to put it... Maybe there? Maybe there. No, because that hides that. Okay. So I'm going to grab a couple dimensionals. And I'm just going to put it right there. I think I'm just going to take a piece of the scrap bit of ribbon and do it like that. Just tie, I just tied a knot. I'm going to make these ends just a teeny bit smaller. Whoops, that's crooked. I'm going to take a glue dot. Put it behind. And put it right like that. There. That looks pretty. And then the last bit is my pearls. And these are the last of my pearls until I order more. So um, on the first card, I used the great big pearls, but we're down to the medium size. So they're going to go right in the center. Oops. Well, you know what? I'm going to stick them on these ones, too. Mm 
a whole lot of pearls going on on this card. There. And there we go. Pretty. And here's the first one I made. So there they are. They look so pretty with that gold embossing. And of course this is, these, they just look like doilies and they're just so gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And don't forget, if you don't have this bundle yet, you've got until May 31st to order it from uh, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you're in Canada, I would love to help you get this. You're absolutely going to love it. Oh, and with the bundles, we have free gifts. So you could either get um, our new heavy vanilla cardstock or you could get our note cards with envelopes. So lots of good stuff going on. Anyhow, thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it and I really hope you enjoyed the, today's video. Have a great day and happy stamping. Bye.